Alrighty guys, how's she going today? So, uh, it's really a nice, nice day out. It's about 60-ish. I got the John Deere out right now. I just got them blowing it off. I, uh, I'm gonna wash it later. Um, I got the trailer out too. I'm gonna wash that as well. Cause I'm putting her away for the winter. Um, the little bit of leaves that did fall on that one tree isn't worth messing with, so. It's about, it's just, uh, to me it's not worth chopping up. I just let, just let the winter rot her away. But, uh, I'm going to wash the John Deere. And then, uh, I'm going to put some fuel stabilizer in there too. Um, I actually got done mowing the front yard, believe it or not. Um, the front yard that's all nothing else needed everything else is like everything else is dying if you can look see the grass is dying well the front yard it's a little bit greener than this mess right here it's it, it, it was growing so i mowed it you know and of course i want to do a little bit of trimming there too clean it up a little bit and that's another thing i got to put away as a trimmer so but all this week they're talking really good weather so I'm going to try to get some things done here so we got a little bit done today um, which isn't much I guess you know blowing out the John Deere and whatever <clears throat> one thing I do need to do which has been needed for quite a while now is that my quick coupler on the air compressor side because I got a quick release here too so I can drain the air out of the tank real quick. Uh, I think it's getting some some slack and sire or whatever, or, or whatever. Uh, because it's starting to leak air. So I'm thinking I might replace that. The other one up here on the reel is fine. That one doesn't leak. So why that one leaks, I don't know. If they both get about the same amount of use, so I don't know, maybe that one was, was just a little bit defective or something. I don't know. So, but yeah, so what this video is kind of about, it's just kind of something that I'm getting kind of fed up with. And this is kind of, well, this has got to do with YouTube. And it's not really so much YouTube, it's, it's more of what the people say on YouTube. Um,. Well, the thing is that's going on right now, and it's not going on in my channel, okay? It's whenever I watch live streams, okay? And right now I'm watching a live stream of SpongeBob SquarePants. There's some guy that's live streaming this. How he does this, I don't know. But that's what I do in my free time. I watch, you know, I watch this. And this is supposed to be 24-7, so this is supposed to go on non-stop, I guess, until copyright hits them, because... They were doing it before of another, I don't know if it was the same guy or if it was a different guy, I can't remember now, but there was another guy that was doing it and he was live streaming a different um, show or whatever it was. And eventually that got, after about two or three days, they got taken down because of copyright claims. So this probably won't last too long either, but it's just kind of what I like to do in my free time when I don't have anything else to do. Uh, I'm basically caught up on editing videos. Besides this one now. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else planned for videos, you know, and this is the one that I'm doing now. So uh, I got one tonight, and I think I'm, I think that's it. I think I just got one for tonight for a video. I don't know if I got one for tomorrow or not, but if I don't, then this one, this one here will be, will be for tomorrow. But the thing is, is that. When you go watch these live streams, you know, and they're doing, some people I think, you know, they do this, especially these cartoons, you know, stuff, because they want kids to watch, and that's the thing with this YouTube shit now, is that, you know, apparently more and more kids are watching now, you know, and I think they even made, made a section now just for kids, 
which I guess, you know, whatever, but it's, it shouldn't really hurt our bottom line, but whatever, it is what it is, but it's the point that I like to sit there and sometimes I like to read the chats, you know, the, the live chatting, you know, and sometimes you can actually interact with other people and you can talk to them and they'll talk back to you and, you know, we'll talk about whatever we're watching or we'll talk about something else, you know, it's kind of, you can do whatever you want. Well, today I go there and it's nothing but fucking cussing and, and calling each other the fucking dumb words. You know, I mean, they're even sitting there calling everyone fucking niggers. This is just stupid. Now you're going to start calling everyone the fucking N-word because you're so damn childish. Like, that's all I hear. Fucking nigger, fucking nigger. You are fucking nigger. You suck a damn nigger. Like, it's just constant freaking the nigger were coming out. Out of everyone's fucking mouth. And now they got the freaking Hitler, Hitler freaking symbol going on. It's like, grow the fuck up, you know? You're not making it very nice for kids that, you know, might be watching. Now, yeah, they can, you know, the parents could, you know, could disable that, you know, turn it off. But, you know, what if a kid just happens to get on and the kids don't know how to do that? Kids can kind of get suckered into cartoons right away and they don't realize the other crap that they're seeing in the damn chat box because they may not know how to you know get rid of that so instead of knowing how to get rid of it they end up freaking reading it and now you got you know kids freaking seeing all these stupid words and and like it's just childish that's what i got a problem with with this, this live streaming shit now too it's just like you can't even watch anything in peace and people are there already there calling each other names. And this, and this is on a cartoon, yeah. And you're sitting there freaking calling everyone the name. Um, fucking, you know, putting the Hitler sign up. Everyone's fucking saying Hillary Clinton sucks. Donald Trump sucks. And then you got some jackass running around and, and they're doing the symbol sign. Or, well, not the symbol sign, but... They're putting the word Trump in there, you know, but instead of just the word Trump, they're like high, it's colored, you know. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of what they're doing with the Hitler signs. They're just not making it with with the keyboard. They're, they're doing some kind of a funky design with it, you know. It's something that I think Windows 10 kind of allows now, too. Windows 10, you can do that a little bit more now, but that's just stupid. I mean, it's just dumb. Someone needs to be freaking managing that shit. I mean, YouTube apparently just came out with a thing now where if someone's, which I already kind of knew this because I've seen this a while back, but there's a thing now where if a person like me, let's say, we'll use me for an example, if I'm uploading even a video or I'm live streaming, I can pick as many subscribers, like, you know, my favorite subscribers, like the ones that I can trust the most, I can actually set them and, you know, and they can actually go over to my videos and my live streaming and actually control what's being set, you know. So I was like, if someone puts on there, you know, like, you're a fat retard or, or starts throwing the freaking Hitler, Hitler signs all over, you know, they can sit there and they can actually can control that, you know. So, which I haven't done because I don't get that kind of crap. But this guy that's live streaming needs to do that because that's just stupid. I mean, it's just so stupid. It makes me kind of not want to live stream or even watch live stream. I mean, even though I don't get tons of views and stuff on my live streaming shit, but, you know... It's, it's just, it's even in the commenting section, too, of videos. It's just so stupid. Like, last uh, Friday, Matt uploaded his uh, Friday Night 40 talking about a, a troll. That he was being, you know, just being a cunt or whatever. Well, then the guy actually reapplied to my comment, calling me names, putting me down, you know. 
telling me to learn how to spell. Well, maybe the way I'm spelling is the way I spell. You know, maybe that's just the way I do it. You don't like the way I fucking spell? You need to go some fucking place else then. You know? So, really, instead, of, I didn't even read this freaking comment. I just freaking reported it. You know, I just, YouTube took it down. So, even though it was on his video, it's still the point that I can go to that, you know, to his video, and I can still somewhat kind of control the comments that are being said on his videos. Everyone can do that with, with each other. They can report it, you know, report it as spam or, you know, inappropriate or whatever, you know, or something, you know. So, instead of this, you know, I don't have time to sit there and argue with a fat, drunken, losing man that sits in his basement all fucking day. You know, I'm not going to sit there and argue with him because, you know what, I ain't got the time for his loser ass. And I'm just not going to talk to a loser. And he's sitting, and he sits there and says that he's not a troll. Well, you're you're obviously a troll. You're an asshole if you're sitting there making videos about a guy that is drinking a fucking forty on a Friday night. He's just having a good time with his friends. He ain't fucking, you know. You know, he's he's just hanging out with his friends. Is there anything wrong with that? At least he's actually getting out out of his house, bringing over his friend, and they're, you know, sitting there, chatting, sitting next to the fire, drinking a beer, whatever, or a 40. You know, they're actually getting out compared to this fucking guy. He just sits in his damn basement and makes videos, ranting about people. You know, it's like, really? You're a sorry, sorry excuse for a man. You're not a man at all. You know, and the dumbass was fucking stupid enough to leave a comment, you know, or reapply back to me. So now I kind of know his name. But see, the thing is, I didn't go to, I didn't go to his channel because, like, what Matt, like, what Matt said, his videos are just a big fat fucking waste of time. Okay, well, if he says they're a waste of waste of time, I'm not gonna waste my time going checking this guy out, and you know, I'm not doing. It. I'm not gonna go watch his fucking videos. I'm not even gonna go over there and dislike him. I'm not gonna waste my time. You know, I'm just, I'm just simply not going to do it. If Matt says this is a bad person, I'm not going to waste my time. Then. I, you know, because Matt's not going to lie. You know, no one's going to fucking lie. Especially when it comes to dealing with fucking trolls. So, what are you going to do? You know, they're, they're a part of YouTube. You have to have a thick skin to deal with them. Even like Vlogging Life said, you, you, you have to have a thick skin to deal with with haters on YouTube. It's that's just the way it all that's just the way it is. But the thing is that YouTube needs to kick it up a notch and make it harder for these kind of people to be on YouTube. You know. Like they, they need to step it up with their with their systems. They need to put more control on commenting. You know, I mean there's a thing there's a thing on, on like in my settings that I can put it in that description, you know, certain words that I don't want to be, want to be, you know, to be said. And I guess if, if let's just say if I put the word fat, okay, the word fat. If someone typed that in, in their comment and tried to post it on my video, that comment would automatically go to the approval list. Meaning no one, no one would see it unless I approved it. Well, instead of having that kind of a setting, which I mean it does work. I mean, it does help, but they should have it to where if someone says that, it should just be automatically deleted. Regardless of what else gets said in that, it should be deleted. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's what YouTube needs to do. And YouTube, people in the YouTube world need to grow the hell up. You know, us YouTubers like me and Matt and, you know, and everyone else. We join YouTube to interact with other YouTubers and to have a good time hanging out with people, you know, and chatting with other people. You know, we don't need losers like y'all, you know, leaving stupid comments, trying to bring us down. You know, it's like, grow the fuck up. It shows that if you're going to sit in your basement, drink beer, and make videos about other YouTubers, and talk shit about, you know, people and YouTubers and all this shit, and you do that all the time, 
you don't have a life. You don't have a job. You know? You're a loser. It's stupid. Real YouTubers have a job. They do something with their lives. You know, that's why some YouTubers, even like like Matt, he, he doesn't upload on a daily basis because he can't because he works. He's got things to do. Doesn't have time to pick up a camera every day and record every damn minute of his life. You know, and plus he's not he's not a blogger, you know. Not like blogging life. He's a blogger, he vlogs every day. You know. But you know, it's just he's not he's not into that and I'm not into that. Even though I upload every day, I, you know, most of the time I do. But there has been a few days that I've I've taken off, you know, just because I'm you know, I'm tired of looking at a damn computer screen all the time trying to edit videos. That's why when it comes to these kind of videos, I really don't go crazy on the editing. I don't. I just I throw in my intro and that's it. And then I'll throw in my copyright stuff and that's it. That's all I do in my videos. You know, I don't go crazy on them unless I was going to do some kind of a crazy video. Like that don't tread on me video. That one I made a while back. That one took some time. That took a few hours to do, but these kind of videos, probably 10 minutes and I'm done. You know, that's about it. And then 10 minutes to edit and then however long it takes to download to the computer and then, for, and then upload it to YouTube. You know. Because my videos, videos are nothing special. So why should I go all, all out? You know, and make them, the, the, you know, the badass videos out there. You know, because they're not badass. If they're... If, the, if it was a video on my tractor, I probably would want to do something a little bit more fancier with it. I have thought of some ideas. But to get the urge to do it, I don't know. You've you got to have that urge to do it. Some days I have it, and some days I don't. So, those kind of videos, I think, deserve a little bit more, more editing. More time spent on them. For these kind of videos, I don't think they need it, you know. They probably don't even really need, need an intro. It's just that I do it, you know, to kick it up another notch to make the videos look a little bit decent. You know, and it kind of helps with copyright stuff, too. So, you know, even though they, they, they could cut it out if they wanted to bad enough, but that's why you put that copyright shit in your videos so they can't. So, but what are you going to do, right? So... <clears throat> But I, I'm just saying that, you know, it's kind of getting to a point where I don't even find YouTube really all that fun, you know, trying to watch. What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell that was, but that didn't sound too good. Something. Must have been over to the neighbor's house. Must have been somewhere there at the brother cars, but that yeah, could have been. Huh. Didn't sound too good. Whatever. So, like, it's just it's the point that when you're on YouTube and you know you're you're trying to watch something, regardless if if it's a live stream or just an ordinary video. It's kind of the point that you get a lot of these stupid comments. And that's kind of another reason why uh, when I watch YouTubers, like people that watch my videos and I go watch their videos, you know, um, I, I just leave my comment and I leave. I'm done. I don't go through the comment section saying what other people fucking said, you know. I mean, I know most of the time it's going to be, you know, good comments but it's those stupid ones that I don't have the time to read and to even I don't even want to see them because they're so stupid so that's kind of why I just I watch the video I leave my comment I leave you know and that's it I don't go reading other people's fucking comments you know and that goes with everyone everyone that watches my videos and they upload videos I watch your guys's videos you all know that and I really don't, I hardly, 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 hardly ever read other people's comments. Even though they are, most of them are probably nice. It's just the point that I don't really care what other people got to say, you know. 
Especially if it's something stupid. So. It's just, it, it's, it's a waste of my time. And I don't know why trolls even try. Because trolls know that, you know, you're never going to win. And when I had uploaded that, that, uh, pissed off video a couple days ago. Well, of course, on those ranting videos, because they're ranting videos, I get dislikes. Well, you know, they're just trolls. Well, I know, I'm, I know for sure I'm going get to get on this video, because this is another ranting video. I guess apparently those two motherfuckers don't like ranting videos. Then why are you watching my shit? Why are you here then? Go somewhere fucking else. Why are you wasting your time? You obviously enjoy my videos if you're willing to even watch them and dislike them. You must enjoy them, but you're just not showing it. And by you disliking, disliking my videos, you're not hurting my feelings one fucking bit. I could care fucking less. Because I'm not going to stop just because two fat fucking fatheads dislike my video. I could care less. You know, I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing what I like. You don't like it? Get the fuck out of here then. You know? It's stupid. So, that's all I got to say about that. You know, let's just go fuck off then if you don't like it. But the thing that pisses me off is, is the, 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 the stupid comments that people have to leave on either a regular video or, you know, or on a, on a live stream. A live stream is it's just ten times worse. You know. It's just so stupid. Like all you freaking see is fuck you nigger. Fuck you. You're a nigger, you damn nigger and hole. You know, it's like it's just constantly fucking that word and it never freaking ends. Oh fuck Hillary, fuck Trump, you know, it's like when this president shit gets over with, the drama will end for that because it's just uh, this is why I'm not voting for anyone. You know what? I ain't voting for any of these fucking presidents, really, because either way, we're basically fucked. Okay? Everyone's, everyone thinks that Hillary will save this country and, and do certain things. And then Trump says he'll do certain things. So did Obama, and Obama didn't even do one of those fucking things. They're saying those fucking things because they want to be taught dog. You know? I'm sorry, but I ain't voting for any of them. I don't care if you hate me for it or not. I ain't voting for one of them. I don't care. I agree more with Trump. So, no matter kind of what, I'm always leaning towards more Trump, but... He's a clown, too. You know, you guys... You guys are just hearing all the stuff that he's saying, but you guys really are not... Exactly listening to what he's saying. Okay, I'm going off of what o what Obama has done. Obama said that he was going to do all these wonderful things to this country, and none of them got done. So it makes me wonder what Hillary's going to do. It makes me wonder what Donald Trump's going to do. Okay, but here's another thing: no matter who we pick, we're still fucked. Okay, either Hillary's going to win, she's going to take all our rights away. Or Donald Trump's going to win, and the Iraqis and the terrorists are all going to come blow us up. You know, so either way, we fucking lose. So, we just have to put up with it. You know, the only thing you can do to be a true American, you know, is do what you think is right. You can vote for whoever you want. That's your right to do so. So do what you think is right. I'm doing what I think is right by not even getting fucking involved. Because I already know the truth to all this, okay? And another thing to do is to stay on your ground, okay? No matter who becomes president, you own a chunk of land, they can't touch it. You're paying your taxes. If you're paying your taxes, it's your land. Even though we shouldn't be paying taxes on our land. But we are. I think it's stupid, but what are you going to do? So, no matter what... Freaking stand your ground. Believe in your rights. Whatever you whatever you believe in for rights, do it. You know. Stick to your guns. Don't do what other people are doing. 
just because, you know, they said that they're doing it. You know, like, I'm not voting for anyone, okay? That doesn't mean that you don't have to. It doesn't mean that you have to say, okay, well, I'm not going to vote. If this guy ain't voting, I'm not going to vote either. You do what you want to do. I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, like, Matt, he said that he's voting for for whoever, okay? Okay, that's his right to go do that. I ain't going to stop him. I ain't going to, you know, tell him to not vote for this guy because he sucks. He's an American. He's got his own fucking mind. He can make his own choices. He's a big boy. He can make his own damn choices. I don't need to step, get involved and change his mind, okay? I'm my own, I'm my own fucking man. I can make my own decisions. And I choose not to vote for any of them because they're garbage. My mom isn't voting. My grandma's not voting. There's probably a million other people that ain't fucking voting. But here's... This is the $20 million question that I would love to know. What would they do if the whole goddamn United States of America did not vote for anyone? What would happen then? Would, would the government just randomly pick one because America hates both of them? You know? It's just, you know... It's, it, that should tell you something that we don't like these people. So, but whatever. I'm not going to get into this president shit too much because all I want it to be done is to be, I want it over with. All I fucking hear on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. All right, sons of bitches, we get it. You know, that's why I don't watch the news anymore. Always fucking president shit. Let's get on with the new year, pick a damn bitch, and be done with it. So we can get back to our fucking normal lives and do our own thing. So, bottom line. And you can dislike me, you can hate me for the, the, the decisions I've made. But, it's my right to do so. If I think they both suck, and they both suck, it's just the point that I like Donald Trump a little bit more than Hillary. So if I was forced to vote, I would probably vote Trump. But I'm still not voting because they both suck. Even though Trump says what he's going to do, he's going to do it. It's the point that when he becomes president, he'll change his mind. You know, so. And of course, now they're back to blackmailing Hillary Clinton again. Like, holy crap. Apparently she's been... Threatening the FBI or whatever the fuck it is. Like, really? Stop digging dirt on each other and grow the hell up. That's why I'm not voting for any of these fucking people. Because this is the worst it's been in years. Even when fucking Obama became president, they were, like, not really digging up a lot of dirt on him. But when it, but when it comes to Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, they're digging up so much fucking shit on him that they must be to China by now. Because, I mean, that's just how far they've gone with this digging shit. It's just ridiculous. They both suck. Just pick one already. Let's get it over with. See how many people he can kill, or she can kill. Whoever wins. Let's see what damage they can do. And we'll try to recover from it. You know? And everyone thinks that Hillary's already going to win this, this election. Which, my mom, says, my, my mom says that she heard that Hillary's going to win. But I heard that Trump's going to win. So, I don't know. But it's just whatever it is. No matter who we, no matter who wins as a president, we have to put up with it. We don't have the choice to go there and start a stampede and go on a riot, you know, to try to get that person out of office. It's just not going to happen. Unless someone literally took a sniper rifle and killed that president. Which... I'm surprised no one has done it to Obama yet, but you know what, whatever. But you know what's going to happen to either Trump or Hillary. You know, so. But it's, it's just going to be whatever it is. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I don't watch the fucking news. I know that it's going to be all over YouTube. I know all my su subscribers are going to be talking about it. You know, and blah, blah, blah. That's fine and all. If you want to sit there and yap about it. But I may not watch that video. If you if you post if you upload a video saying, "Oh, Hillary Clinton won," or whatever, I may not watch it because I don't give a shit to be honest with you. 
Because it's because you guys are not looking, you know, at the real thing. You're just looking at what the hell they're saying. I'm looking at the truth. And the truth is not looking pretty. Now, they may stick to the guns if, if Donald Trump did win. And if he actually s sticks to his guns, okay, good for him. He'll be the first president in America to actually stick to his guns. Obama never did that, and I don't think Hillary will either. And I don't think Trump will either, but if he does, best of luck to you. That's all I can say. But I don't care. I'm not voting for. I'm not voting for anyone. You know, you can hate on me all you want. Whatever. That's your right to do so. So. Whatever. So. But basically, what this video was about was about YouTube. That YouTube needs to grow up. The, the people on YouTube need to grow the fuck up. Cause this is stupid. I mean. It's frustrating because you're trying to watch a fucking video and all you see fucking go on the damn chat box is freaking stupid comments. Like, I know you can you can hide the damn thing, but sometimes I kind of would like to interact with other people, you know, talk to them and, you know, get their story from their side of the world. You know, and you just can't do that on comments like that, on that kind of a chat box. You just have to walk away from it because... You're not going to get anywhere with anyone. You know? It, it's just... If you even post a comment saying, Hi, guys. They're going to just immediately snap back at you and be like, Fuck you, you piece of shit. You know? Like, you cannot even try to talk to anyone. Everyone's just sitting there arguing with each other. Calling them themselves the N-word. Throwing the freaking Hitler, the fucking Hitler sign up. Like... What, what are you, two? Like, it's not fun anymore. It's like, YouTube needs to do some serious freaking upgrading. And... Do it fast. Get it over with so we can move on with our fucking lives. Because this is... This is stupid. So... But, you know, recently, really, too, I haven't really been getting a lot of hate comments. So that's why you guys haven't been seeing any hate... Reading hate comment videos. I did get one about a week ago. Nothing super sh shocking. It's the same old, same old. So, there's a slight difference to it. But, you know, of course the name is different. But, yeah, I don't really get hate comments. Um, I suppose if I was more of a bigger bigger YouTuber, I probably would get more of it. But I'm not that big. So, what are you going to do? You know? But I'm okay with it. I don't need to hate comments anyway. Because, you know, it's kind of just a waste of my time. It's it's really just a waste of the trolls' time because you're not gonna ever win with anyone. I mean, how? What's so fun about being a troll? You know, like does it's just a turn on for you? Like do you get hard from this? Because I don't. I get disgusted because you guys are such fat losers that. I feel, I feel sorry for your mom having to spread her legs to push you out. It's like, poor mom. I feel bad for you. You gave birth to a disgusting son. Like, well, there are some women under, under that, that do it, too. You know, well, they're kids, mostly. But, you know, it's... Still. You know. This is kind of why kids should not be on YouTube, because there's too much of this crap going on. You know. I'm not saying that my videos are kid friendly, but I've given you guys plenty of freaking warning. You know, I didn't know that I have to put that shit in my videos all the time. You know, the warning, guys. Oh, there's excessive coasting in this video. You kind of should already expect that from me. So, because I'm not changing my attitude just for a damn kid. Apparently, I have one minor watching my videos. Well, that's his choice to watch my shit, not mine. You know, if he don't like my cussing, there's the door then. Use it. So, I'm not changing my lifestyle because because of that, you know. I'm just going to continue to be me. You can deal with it or you can leave. You know, just because I'm cussing doesn't mean that you have to cuss. You know, if you don't believe in cussing, then don't do it. But, you know, don't tell someone else 
to stop swearing because they're not going to. It's just, it's in their nature to do that. I've been doing it since I was fucking one years old, you know. I'm, I'm not going to change. I'm just simply not going to do it. So, you can go screw a damn nut because I ain't doing it. So, but YouTube needs to grow up. People on YouTube need to grow the hell up. It's just nothing but freaking constant freaking calling each other names, acting like a bunch of fucking two-year-olds. You know, it's like, maybe you should come back to my video when you got some balls, you know, and you're a man or a woman, not a fucking two-year-old. Stupid. Like, I have more people on my videos that, well, most of my subscribers that watch my videos, you know, act their age you know I mean I got some pretty young viewers too and and you know they're, they're they don't they're not well they're, they're basically they're not a damn troll you know they're not sitting there putting you down all the freaking time it's you know because they're being adults you know they're they're over 18 you know I mean hell I mean, hell, even that minor that's watching my videos, or that was watching my videos, I haven't heard from him in a little while. Even he's acting more like a fucking adult than the rest of these people on YouTube are. And he's a minor yet. He's only like probably like 14. You know, and that guy, he's not sitting there, he's not, you know, cussing up a storm or calling people down or whatever, you know. He's just being himself, watching my videos, and he uploads his own videos, you know, so... That's just being fucking, uh, being an adult and being normal, even though, you know, so. I guess his parents obviously did teach him some good because he's not being a jackass. But unfortunately, I can't say that for the rest of the people on YouTube that are adults and still acting like jackasses. You know, it's stupid. So, this is kind of why um, when people come to my channel... And they're new. Um, I really don't subscribe to them anymore. I mean, there's a few new ones that have subscribed to me. And I have subscribed back to them. But see, in a way, I kind of knew them. Because I've heard about them in other people's videos. You know? And a lot of my new subscribers were people from, you know, Matt's channel. Um, uh, what the hell is that other guy's fucking name? Buzzsaw, you know, those people. All these all these new subscribers that I gained and that I have subscribed to them, I have heard about them in the past. And I know that they're they're decent people, you know, they're not trolls, they're not assholes. So but the one that Matt had on his video, he just sounded like a big clown. Like, well it's kinda nothing new, to be honest with you, because I've I mean, I've had my share of it, you know, and I'm sure everyone else, everyone else has their, has had their share of it. Everyone gets that, you know. You just got to put up with it. Do what you can to control it. Set your comments, you know, to approval or whatever. Or disable it then if you have to. But don't stop making them just because they're being an asshole. You you're obviously doing it because you enjoy it. You, you enjoy making them, you enjoy editing them, you enjoy uploading them, you know. Keep doing it. That's why I don't let the trolls get to me anymore. I just, you know, I just, I just keep doing what I, what I like doing. A lot of people bitch that they don't like my videos are so long. Well, I told you what to do six million freaking times. I shouldn't have to keep telling you. So... But, you know, it's just whatever, it's whatever to them, you know. If they want to keep acting like like kids, well, don't expect me to be watching, you know, those, those kind of videos, you know. It's just, it's stupid. Especially with, with, you know, with live streaming. I mean, it's hard. No one that I watch, all the people that I watch, hardly, hardly, hardly ever live streaming anymore. Because live streaming has changed so much, I don't think people like it anymore. So, they don't do it as much. And I don't do it. People keep asking me, they go on. 
come live stream with me. You know, I had one guy that was asking me to come and join his live stream all the time. He finally gave up, but for a couple of months there, he was going pretty good at it. You know, I'm not live streaming anymore. I can't, okay? My computer, the computer that I did use to live stream is junk. My new one doesn't have a webcam on it, so I can't do it there either. I don't have the time for that. So, and to all my Facebook friends that that like my Facebook page, not to be a jackass or anything, but don't send me freaking game requests, you know, to be your friend on this game and to play this game because I'm not doing it. I actually already am playing this. Those fuck. Someone has has as asked me to play Farmville 2 on Facebook twice. Okay. I'm not doing it because for one, I'm already playing the fucking game on my other account. And I'm tired of it, you know. It's just the games are boring to me now. I'm playing Happy Acres. I've been playing that for about a year or two straight. I'm sick of that already. So don't send me friend or game requests to play the freaking game on my on my pages because I'm not joining them. And stop asking me to live stream with you or whatever. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. So, you know, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything. It's just that I don't have time for that. It's not my thing anymore. I used to like live streaming back in the day, but I wasn't getting the views. No one was really, really ever joining. So I said, well, if no one's going to come and join, the hell with it. And I, and I never could figure out the freaking live chatting thing because people would tell me it just still never would. It, there was nothing there. Maybe it's there now because I'm on I'm on Windows 10, but it wasn't there on my old computer, so I never could find it. So stop sending me game requests. You know, stop asking me to join your live streams because I'm not not doing it. You know. So unless it's on, you know, unless it's maybe on like you know your YouTube channel mostly. That that's maybe all right, but I'm not going to actually. See, some people want me to actually join in and live stream with them. I'm not going to do that. I'll come there and maybe join in, join you in the chat box. That's about all I'm going to do. You know, but for actually getting a webcam, setting it all up, joining in, I'm not doing that. I've already done that in the past. I'm done with that. I'm over with that. So I'm moving on to bigger and bigger and better stuff now. So. Sorry if that pisses you off or defends you in any way. Not trying to be an asshole. That's just the way it is. So. <clears throat> but what are you going to do, right? You piss people off because you say certain things. Well, I can't help it if I'm pissing people off. It's just reality on my side of the world. I can't do what everyone else wants me to do. If I had to do everything what everyone else was telling me to do, I would have no time for myself to do anything. I could not even mow my lawn because I'd be busy doing stuff for other people. I can't do it. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? So, sorry if I pissed you guys off. Too bad. That's just what it's going to have to be. You know, can't help it. So, but anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm going to go do some, do some things. Try to see if I can wash my tractor yet today. I need to do that and uh, get that and done and over with because I already cleaned it and blew it off with the blower or the compressor which has got a bad connector on it so I gotta fix that which really was the point because I'm basically going to be about done with it this year I got a couple more weeks and then I'll probably be shutting it shutting that down too so and anyway, guys I'm going to take off so I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff so yeah thanks for watching guys take your easy Thank you.